All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. We are here today with Jody and Regent Seven Seas Cruises to talk all about this lovely cruise line and everything that they have to offer. So thank you, Jody, for being with us today. I'll just hand it right over to you. Okay. Well, thanks so much. And I'm excited to have a chance to speak about Regent again. If you've watched any of the other videos, we've, we've done a few of these but there's always some new updates and, and new things to show. So thank you so much for watching and we're excited to share with you today. So first off, just a little update on our health and safety. Now our plan is science backed and this plan for health and safety will be obviously changed and, and developed and updated as we go. So this was made or developed in conjunction with a diverse group of globally recognized experts and will be continuously uh, evaluated using our latest science and technology. So to name a few things, we still are requiring 100% vaccine for guests and crew. Also continuous shipwide cleaning and disinfection with an upgraded medical grade air filtration system that's capable of removing 99.9% .9 of airborne pathogens a new air treatment technology that's called bipolar ionization. And this has been adapted to continuously disinfect the air in occupied spaces. Also, we have enhanced onboard medical teams and health services, contact tracing, which I think is wonderful. When you check in with us, you upload a photo of yourself and that photo, we will be able to see where you have been throughout the ship on board. And if you came in contact with someone that had COVID or, or you yourself had COVID, we would know, you know where you have been and who you have come in contact with. And then also reduce capacity is something that we're still doing. And an update is that we are no longer requiring masks. So as of March 1st, masks will not be required with Regents. Um, so, but, but if we go to a place that may require it, we may have to require it for a short amount of time because of where we are. But we are no longer requiring masks as of March 1st. And we've also removed some suites on board each of our ships to reflect the current environment, only enhancing our existing space and service ratios on board. So the grandeur, splendor, and explorer have gone from 750 guests to 732. The Seven Seas Voyager has gone from 700 to 680. Mariner 700 to 684 and Navigator from 490 to 482 guests. We also have our website updated where you'll find a complete dedicated section to our health and safety protocols for any questions that may arise. It's got to be there. It, it's got to be there. But if it's not, of course, your travel advisor would be able to help find that information, reach out to myself. We'll get those answers for you. Now, also, we definitely understand the complexities of ever-changing travel requirements across the globe. Who, who can keep up these days, right? So in effort to keep you up to date, we've created a new dedicated area of our website to provide health and safety requirements by voyage. So this will be available approximately 30 days prior to embarkation for each sailing, and it will also be communicated via Envogram directly. So as the travel restrictions uh, evolve around the globe, we'll update the requirements according, accordingly. And also included the date the requirements were last updated. So you know that everything is completely up to date. And then two weeks prior to your sailing, we'll send out an Envogram with details on what to expect if you were to test positive for COVID at the pier or during your cruise, what does that look like? So we try to be as communicative as possible to you, your travel advisor, so you know what's going on. Now we are cruising and we have been cruising since September 11th was our first voyage on Seven Seas Splendor. So we are very, very excited to be back. Explorer and Mariner followed Splendor and then Seven Seas Navigator and Voyager. We soon be back in the water joining our other ships. So March 9th and March 26th. So we are doing everything in our power to deliver the destination experience that you're expecting, but sometimes port closures and local restrictions may dictate that 
we have to amend itineraries during the course of your voyage, especially right now and early on. So we are running as best as we can to deliver that true unrivaled experience that you or clients know and love. And one of the greatest things about our health and safety protocols is that they enable us to provide an experience that is almost the same as the amazing experience our guests know and love pre-pandemic. So what makes region experience, what makes the region experience so special is that we've always believed that travel is not a reason to compromise. And when on a vacation, your experience should be unrivaled in every single way. So we've always been about space at sea and we started talking about unrivaled space at sea at the beginning of the pandemic. And having that ample and lavish space and service on board our ships is nothing new. It's not a revolutionary concept, but a rather strong reminder of why personal space, dedicated one-to-one -one service, balconies, dining, why they are more important than ever. So I'd like to show you a video highlighting our unrivaled space at sea promise. So unrivaled space at sea means something different to everybody. And we actually interviewed guests and travel advisors about what unrivaled space at sea meant to them. And here is one of the examples of from a uh, passenger Ivy. And she said, feeling like I am on my own private yacht. You can't beat sitting on your balcony with a glass of bubbly wrapped in your fluffy robe. Now that's life. And that's true. It's it's that's the Regent experience. So at Regent, we have a beautiful fleet of five ships that we refer to as the world's most luxurious fleet. And we cater from 482 up to 732 guests who are small and we're intimate, no, no lines. We've had a full refurbishment on all of our ships after our Seven Seas Splendor came into our fleet in 2016. And then our brand new Seven Seas Splendor was christened in February of 2020 in Miami. And then all of this happened with the pandemic. Now, we also have an average crew to guest ratio of 1 to 1.4, and that is a fact that sets us apart from many other cruise lines out there. Now, good news keeps coming for us. Late last year, we opened our brand new ship, Seven Seas Grandeur, for sale. It was a tremendous opening, and it really shows the demand for our product. And when you look at this demand, it's not only coming from our loyal past guests, but also from first-time Regent guests. So many customers who have never sailed on Regent before. The Seven Seas Grandeur launches her inaugural season on November 25th, 2023 from Barcelona to Miami. She goes in to then in December through June of 2024. So she'll go into the Caribbean and then into the Mediterranean. And if you're interested on in any voyages on a brand new ship, I am sure, or I believe that there are some availability on, on these sailings as well. Now, as a sister ship to Explore and Splendor, so she takes our unrivaled experience to this whole new level, as we've done with Explorer, which Explorer started as the most luxurious ship ever built, and Splendor came along and is known as Luxury Perfected. Grandeur is coming, and she is a heritage of perfection. So our designers have done a magnificent job of marrying this comfort, elegance, and style in a fresh and exciting new way. So I just wanted to take a look and show you a few images from Seven Seas Grandeur, our iconic Compass Rose main dining room, 
And when we say a heritage of perfection, it comes from knowledge and wisdom of, of learning over three decades of excellence and delivering unparalleled ocean cruising experiences to all of our guests throughout the world. And Seven Seas Grandeur, she embodies this heritage of perfection inspired through beloved elements and traditions of our past transforming the present with this magnificent vision of the future. Now, this is our chic French restaurant called Chartreuse, and this is inspired by the French glamour of Paris in 1925. The chandelier is actually sketched from the iconic Coco Chanel fabric of this time. You can see these rich leather textures, and you'll find these textures and elements throughout the entire ship. A uh, heritage, actually, because a heritage of perfection, and really came into play with Prime 7, and this is our steakhouse. Famous steakhouse, I should say. Now, inspired by this era of early Manhattan and the romance of old age train travel, this is what Prime 7 embodies. And it boasts, of course, the iconic menu that you know and love if you've sailed and, and eaten in Prime 7. Beautiful, beautiful specialty venue. And one of my favorite suites is our concierge suite with the bed facing the balcony, showcasing beautiful ocean views while you're relaxing in bed. I love the colors of this ship and all the suites, it's absolutely gorgeous. And lastly, with grandeur, the observation lounge. So this will have more of a relaxed tone of luxury and has a spectacular chandelier built of thousands of crystals sewn into organic mesh structures, creating this very, very special place. So. This is the chandelier here, and of course, will be more magnificent in person. Now, the region experience, we've got five pillars that we stand by that we believe sets us apart from all of the rest. And our loyal past guests helped us come up with these pillars as well. So from immersive exploration, impeccable service, luxurious suites, exquisite cuisine, and every luxury included. Now, we are all inclusive, and I wanted to review what we always include upfront in our pricing. Because we may seem higher at first glance, but you've got to consider everything from start to end of your vacation. So we offer free business class air on intercontinental flights. That doesn't matter the, the suite category you book with us. If you're flying intercontinental, you will be flying in business class air. We offer free economy air on domestic flights, free unlimited shore excursions, free two or three night land programs on select voyages free one-night pre-cruise hotel package and concierge suites and higher, free unlimited beverages, and that includes fine wines, premium spirits, specialty coffees, freshly squeezed juice at breakfast, bottled water. Those are all included, and those things add up on some of those others. We'll also free open bars and lounges, and we have an in-suite mini bar that's replenished daily. So there is no charge to drink whatever you prefer, your, your steward or your butler. We'll fill this with whatever you like. Now, gratuities are included. Specialty restaurants are included. Transfers with our air package. Free unlimited Wi-Fi. And brand new for us, a free valet laundry service is included and has been very, very well received. Now, it's really important to compare apples to apples when pricing out your vacations. And your travel advisor can show you this and help you understand. The reality is that there's this type of luxury inclusiveness that allows you to feel different while you're on vacation. There's an ease about it and it's refreshing. There's no hassle. There's not waiting for the final bill, alcohol, tips, et cetera. You just let it be and enjoy. So we also always do these value comparisons where you'll see we compare ourselves with another luxury line and a premium line. And in this example, this is for Alaska. So we compare a uh, comparable suite size on all of the ships. The guest capacity is going to be a huge difference because your premium guest capacity in this example is 2,489 guests. And our Seven Seas Mariner is 682 guests. So the Regent price on this sailing is starting at $59.99. Sometimes those numbers could be a little shocking and you tell your advisor, okay, well, you know, I, you know, we, we can't do that, but go ahead and book us on the premium cruise line for $1,906. But 
you know, you want to add air. Well, in Alaska, because it's domestic economy, air is included. You got to get there. Transfers, shore excursions, Wi-Fi, gratuities, bar drinks and wine, alternative dining, government taxes and fees. With Regent, everything's included. So you could end your cruise and still be paying the same price as when you boarded with us. Now, the other two don't have everything included. The other luxury has some, but the other, the premium, you've got to add everything on. Packages to purchase, all of that, drinks, specialty dining, everything. By the time you get off of that sailing in this example, you would have spent more sailing on that premium cruise line than you would on a luxury cruise line. So with 2,400 and 89 people compared to 682. You just pay it up front. Don't have to worry. Just let it be. That's that. It's just a, a whole different experience. And so many people don't understand that they can or they could be sailing on a luxury cruise for what they're already paying or close to, to pay uh, with a premium. Now, we don't always come out less. And I want you to know that. But sometimes we come out very close, sometimes we come out a little less, and sometimes we're higher. But it's just that experience that what are you looking for in your experience, your vacation, your once in a lifetime trip? So that is where your travel advisor can come in and show this to you because we've got charts that we have create, we create every single year that give all of this information. So please make sure you talk to them about this. Now, the region experience, as I mentioned, starts even before you step aboard our perfectly sized ships with this comfort of a business class seat and your intercontinental flights. I think this picture pretty much sums it up and, and says it all right here. Our perfectly sized ships, a truly enjoyable and uncrowded embarkation process. This is our Seven Seas Voyager, so it's not even our smallest ship. 682 passengers. So this is a voyager now so if you're looking for less crowds no lines and easy vacation it's time that you really do look at region now our ships provide this extravagant freedom for you to explore and to relax to the fullest and it's what we call the luxury of personal space there's always a pool lounger available some on the second deck you do not need to be near others should you choose but there's ample opportunities for privacy and to meet and mingle with other guests on board Regent. The Splendor and Explorer offer indoor and outdoor seating at Coffee Connection, so you can enjoy those specialty coffees, again, free of charge, as well as delicious pastries, gourmet sandwiches, homemade cookies. I see myself sitting here in the morning enjoying my specialty coffee, but you can sit inside too if you prefer. We've got that option, and this is a large seating area that's outside of the Co Co Coffee Connection on Seven Seas Mariner. Now, luxurious suites and luxurious accommodations. And we believe that lavish personal space is a core to experiencing the ultimate in luxury travel. And our world's most luxurious fleet offers a true sanctuary at sea. Spacious, luxurious suites and personal balconies were actually 98% private balcony. So only one of our ships offers window staterooms all suites, all outside. This, I think, is a true example of a home away from home. It's not even our largest suite, but it's got a living room, walk-in closet, mini bar that's personalized, dining table, free movies on demand, everything that you need to have a comfortable stay with us. No inside suites. They're all balconies, except a few on our Seven Seas Navigator. And then larger suites even feature some with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's an easy way to travel with friends or family and just to not feel overcrowded. This is a penthouse suite on Seven Seas Mariner, another excellent example of space. One of my coworkers jokes that you can literally do cartwheels in a suite, and you can. This picture does not even do the space of this suite justice because there is so much more in the picture that you can't even see. The suite is 376 square feet and the balcony is 73 square feet. And then a penthouse suite on Explore and Splendor They've been reimagined, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. You can actually close off the bedroom for more privacy here on either side. 
The suite size is 450 square feet, and the balcony ranges depending on the location you are on board the ship. This is a deluxe suite, G1 or G2 on Seven Seas Splendor. So that's a minimum cabin size of 253 square feet, including a balcony that's between 105 and 55. So also depending on where you are on board. Penthouse A and B on Seven Seas Voyager offers personal butler, suite size 320 square feet, 50 square foot balcony. Even in this image, there is so much more space that you can't even see in this picture. So we have some of the largest suites and not to mention some of the largest balconies at sea. And especially on Splendor and Explorer, you could probably have a party of 12 on these balconies. Now, impeccable service with us is another one of our pillars. And impeccable service with personalized service at every turn, truly. And personalized and professional service is something that Regent is known for. And every crew member on board is there to give you that unrivaled personalized experience. They remember your name, the way you like your drinks, your food cooked. They make sure that every detail is taken care of and they really become family. Now, we also spoke about our suites having so much space, but there's actually plenty of space that you can comfortably dine in your suite. And this is included at dinner. It can be course by course using our main dining room Compass Roses menu. And it's not new for us, but maybe it's just something that you didn't know was an option. So it's luxury and that's personal preference. It's whatever way that you want it. We also have highly trained butlers and penthouse suites and above for that you know, extra touch of personalized service. They're dedicated to the guests in their suites only and will help with any arrangements while you are on board. Our dedicated room stewards means they are not endless. Different staff entering your suite. Your room attendants don't change throughout the voyage. They greet you upon arrival. They learn your preferences. They're there to assist you. Now, exquisite cuisine. Uh, cuisine is absolutely amazing. And that unrivaled dining experience across multiple specialty dining venues. And it's delivered by our mastery culinary teams just amazing we actually offer up to seven dining venues on board depending on which ship you're sailing and all of our dining venues on board have ample seating space space and gorgeous dining venues there's plenty of tables for two in fact you're actually able to dine outside three times a day should you choose and there are no additional costs for specialty dining or packages that you would have to purchase to have that included our main specialty restaurant, but it's not even a specialty restaurant at all. This is our main dining room, Compass Rose. We are open seating, which means no required dining at set times at large tables with people that you don't know. We also offer over 200 gourmet plant-based selections for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Compass Rose is also known as so many people's favorite specialty restaurant at sea because each night there are different menu selections from the specialty venue, so that changes each night. So you could essentially eat in Compass Rose, our main dining room, and try different menu options from our specialty venues every single night of the cruise. And I know that a lot of people do that, and they love it because Compass Rose is their favorite. We also have uh, outdoor dining available at La Veranda, which is, uh, La Veranda is our breakfast and lunch venue, contactless buffet, but in the evening, this venue, it turns into this delicious Italian eatery called Sete Mari, and that is serving authentic Italian specialties, fine wines, and we've actually expanded our pool grill for dinner, so you're actually able to enjoy a delicious casual menu that's weather permitting, but not have to change into your slacks and, and collared shirt in the evening. You can now just go to the pool grill in your shorts and your t-shirt that you were maybe touring that day. Now, so also with our dress code, um, because people, because we're a luxury cruise line, people may think that you've got to wear tuxedos and jackets and ties, but with us, it is not required at all. Our dress code is elegant casual. So in like this image, a, a collared shirt for men and slacks after 6 p.m. blouse, slacks dress for uh, women. Nothing more than that at all. Now, our specialty venues, of course, 
they are all works of art in their space. This is Pacific Rim. It's got lovely tables for two. It's our Pan-Asian specialty dining venue. And here you would uh, experience amazing culinary traditions of Asia. So you would enjoy, say, the assorted sushi platter to start, vegetable pot stickers, uh, some Chinese barbecue pork ribs, and a raspberry sake sorbet for dessert to die for delicious. Now, Prime 7, our steakhouse, is my favorite. Actually, I, it's, I'm torn now between two. But th this is just a, a beautiful, glamorous steakhouse that just takes that classic American fare to, to new heights. So here you, you could start with a, a lump crab cake and then have, you know, 18-ounce ribeye or king crab legs, maybe a whole main lobster. You've got to try the truffle fries here. And for dessert, our famous caramel, pop caramel popcorn sundae for dessert. It is so, so good. And it is very, very, very popular. Now also Chartreuse, our French restaurant. It's a, it's a close tie between Prime 7 and Chartreuse for me. Um, Chartreuse is a classic French flair with a twist. So maybe enjoying escargot to start having some French onion soup, and they serve that upside down in a bowl, add a ro roasted rack of lamb, and creme brulee for dessert. Of course, it's about the most amazing French wines. So cuisine is absolutely amazing. Now, immersive exploration is another of our, our key pillars, and it immersive exploration starts with the destination. And we visit over 450 destinations worldwide with over 2,000 free limited shore excursions with access to over 350 plus UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So immersive exploration is central to our promise. Now we offer so many ways for you to immerse yourself into this, into the destination. And, and these are all of the ways that we do. I'm not going to go over in detail all of these for the sake of time, but I'm going to go over a few of these more in detail for you. So we offer these destination experiences in more private settings with options for small groups or private tours to allow you to have that unique vacation experience in a safe environment. And from music history and the culinary arts to wildlife, unique local adventures and beyond, there are amazing memories to be created in every destination, whatever your interest. So we offer over 2,000 free unlimited shore excursions, access to over 350 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and that's just the, the start of this incredible array of shoreside opportunities, multiple tours in every port of call, our tours open one year prior to sailing. And let me take a drink just for a moment. I apologize. So these aren't just city tours and bus tours and walking tours that we include. They're absolutely wonderful tours that are included. So we don't just say we include free unlimited shore excursions and then give you two to choose from, you know, one or the other. Also, we are going to be, well, we're working on our smart guide app to be on all of the tours that it would be able to be. So this allows you connect to connect to the tour guide who's speaking using your own smartphone and headphones so you can stay socially distanced while hearing all that is being explained and you don't have to worry about missing anything. So this, we're working on being available for all of our, all of our voyages. When I say free unlimited shore excursions, I wanted to give you an idea of how many we actually offer in every port of call. So in the Mediterranean, for example, we have 116 ports that we visit in the Mediterranean. We have 2,124 included shore excursions in the Mediterranean alone. 
In Alaska, we visit 13 ports and we include 238 shore excursions. In South America, 40 ports of call and 361 free shore excursions included in South America. And I could go on, but I won't go over all of those, but it gives you an idea of when we say that we're all inclusive, we truly, truly are all inclusive. Now, Regent Choice shore excursions are something else that we offer, and they are upgraded tours and are at a cost. So Regent Choice shore excursions, they're amazing experiences. And this example is in Catherine's Palace. It's amazing. It's just open for our guests and none of the crowds. So uh, the upgraded tour, Regent Choice tour would have a cost, but this could be something like a helicopter tour over a glacier in Alaska as well. There's so many different opportunities, but you certainly do not have to upgrade to the Regent Choice shore excursions. We also offer Regent Choice small group tours. So these have a maximum of 16 guests. So imagine for that even more in-depth and personal experience on board with those. And go local tours, they have been very popular with our past guests. And these are offered in select ports of call only. So in Rome, for example, maybe you've been there many times over. And you know, there's nothing else that you think that you could do in Rome that you haven't already done. So with these go local tours, you actually are able to go into the city, spend the day with a local, see the city through their eyes and really dive into their culture and do things that you wouldn't have done before. We have chef led tours that are called gourmet explorer tours. So Splendor and Explorer and then Grandeur will have this as well, have a culinary arts kitchen and you're able to purchase culinary arts kitchen classes. If you're a foodie, they are wonderful. And there are different types of cuisine that we offer with these tour or with these classes. So you can add on with your class, these gourmet explorer tours. And you go into the city with a chef, pick up everything that you need for your ingredients for your class, take it back to the ship and then cook it together and you pair it with the most beautiful wines. It's, it's a really amazing experience. But then you can also build a unique shoreside experience with our concierge on board, or we can even do it ahead of time through our executive collection department with a private car and driver prior to your cruise for that private experience. So we offer a full day or half day tours and that being exactly what you want to do. So you let us know what you want to see and we'll set that up and do that with a private car and driver for you. So it's a unique opportunity that you may feel more comfortable with moving forward as, as you begin cruising again. Also something wonderful, a new program that we started this year is called Reconnect on Region. And this is for groups of 10 or more people. So if you're thinking of going anywhere with family or friends, 10 or more people, we can offer this Reconnect on Region program where we offer you free private shore excursions with just your group of people a $200 shipboard credit so you could up pay and you could use that for upgraded tours on board custom air fee waivers to make sure that you all can come in at, at the same time or you're getting in there at you know the same days and and coordinate the best that you can we also offer personal in-suite notifications with that. So your group doesn't have to go into the theater and wait for your shore excursion to be called. We'll just let you know when you're sweet and a private complimentary celebration comes with that as well. So this is a great program. So if you've got anybody, if you're looking at, you know, doing a, uh, a family cruise or an anniversary or birthday, this is something that we're very excited to be able to offer. Now. You did hear me mention that we cover the globe with more than 450 ports worldwide. So our sailings are from seven nights on up to 143. Our 2023 World Cruise opened in October of 2020 and almost sold out in one day. It was a few days and was completely sold out. We actually, we opened our, then our next season launch was from 2022 voyages to 2023. 
We opened it that same month and it exceeded our best booking day in our company's history by 40%. Our 2024 World Cruise opened in late last year and sold out the full 132 night cruise in two and a half hours. And then we broke our record once again, the fourth time with our largest ever booking day record to date with the launch of our 2023 2024 voyage collection. And you know, it just shows, wow, that you are ready to go. We've all been home now for so long. And we understand that that travel and these experiences are so important to us. So there are many, many options with Regent. And we have space on 2022 voyages, but many are sold out or very limited. We are open in 2023 and into spring of 2024. And we will also be coming out with our next season launch. Most likely this will be this August and this will be from 2024. So spring 2024 into 2025 spring. So there's uh, there'll be some new things to choose from. But I wanted to show you a video of our destination highlights next. So um, now I know that you heard me say that our 2023 and 2024 world cruises were sold out, but I've actually been seeing some clear recently um, due to some cancellation. So if you're interested in something like a, a, a world cruise, a full world cruise, the opportunity is still there and just have your travel advisor wait list you. So our 2023 world cruise is Navigate the World, and this is a uh, 143 night cruise from Miami to Barcelona. This sailing visits three oceans, six continents, 11 overnights, 14 seas, straits, gulf space, and channels are cruised, 42 countries visited, 48 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 72 ports of call, 356 free shore excursions, and 38,279 nautical miles. So. If you're looking to knock lots of stuff off your bucket list, a world cruise is, is absolutely perfect. And our 2024 world cruise is a round trip Miami, so you don't have to actually fly intercontinentally to get on board uh, this sailing. This is also on Seven Seas Mariner, and this is 132 nights. So in this itinerary, 442 free shore excursions, 66 ports of call, 61 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 31 countries visited, 15 Sea Straits, Gulf Bays and Channels Cruise, 12 overnights, four continents, three oceans, and two canal crossings on this world cruise. Now, if you're, you know, world cruise might be a little too long, we do also offer grand voyages. And these are, you know, for those people that, you know, didn't want to do those, those true long cruises, and maybe there's a, you know, just a portion that they'd like to visit. So these are some options in 2023 that we've got. And with the Grand Voyages, we do offer them in segments. So say the Grand Arctic Adventure, for example, on Navigator, June 23rd. It's a 78-night New York to Barcelona. 
you didn't want to do the full 78 night New York to Barcelona, we have it broken into segments. So you could choose a segment of maybe just that you wanted to, to visit on this specific itinerary. Now we have a Grand European Sojourn. This is September 5th. It's a 62 night Stockholm to Athens. Grand Circle South America, of course, one to check off of your bucket list is December 2023. It's 67 nights ranch at Miami. And the Grand Asia Pacific journey on Seventies Explorer is January 19th, 2024. And that's 59 nights beneath to Tokyo. So with our new launch, we will be we will have additional grand voyages that go through 2024 and probably just into 2025 when that comes out. And with us, it is best to always book early because our pricing increases quarterly. So the farther out you book with us, the better offers you get. If you're a solo traveler, I just wanted to point out that we have solo travel, traveler discounted on sailings. And we have dates into 2024 with a special single supplement fares for solo travelers. So you don't have to wait until closer to the sailing and hope that there'll be a reduced rate for a single traveler closer to sailing. And the program is wonderful. I was actually told by someone who is a solo traveler on a presentation, she said, it's the best program. And I don't know who she else, who else she has sailed with, but she said that Regents was the best program. So there's invitations to our social travelers get together cocktail and dinner events host for single guests you certainly don't have to um attend these but you have the freedom to do so or dine on your own it's all up to you and then a lot of people don't think about us um as far as bringing their families with multi-generational families so in the mediterranean in the summertime and in alaska we do actually offer a children's program where their shore excursions are included in the cost of their cruise fare. So many have discounted fares for children, and it's a really great children's program on board for only these destinations. So if you're thinking of doing that multi-generational family trip to celebrate a big birthday or anniversary, know that you can do this on Regent and take the entire family. And no, we don't have the, you know, rock climbing walls and the, and the, um, race cars and all of that but it the program is wonderful and it's from kids ages 5 to 17 and it's included so there's nothing additional that they would have to pay with that now i wanted to mention that this year in 2022 we are celebrating our 30th anniversary and we have curated special experiences and unique sailings to experience this including commemorative pins and gifts anniversary parties on each of our cruises, specialty drinks, one-of-a-kind dining options alongside enhanced entertainment, and more for our 30th anniversary. And then also a thank you to our loyal past guests. We're actually offering double 70 society savings on these select voyages. So it's a great year, and we're so happy to be here and be doing so well. And we started in 1995. We we're actually Radisson then. I've been with Regent for 22 years. So I come from the beginning when we were Radisson and it, it's been a, a wonderful journey. We've got so many experiences and, and we've evolved so well. And so we're very, very, very excited. But I wanted to end here with our 30th anniversary video to show you what that means to to our guests and our crew that relationship that we have and what brings them back to regent it's so very wonderful and will help this video will help you understand what that is what we are all about As we embark on our 30th anniversary, I'm reminded of all the aspects that truly make Regent such an unrivaled experience. Our guests, our crew and staff, our partners. But the best way to explain it is to experience it. All right, 
We could go all the way back to when Regent was Radisson, and we were smitten with the whole concept of, of touring, or, or cruising, really, uh, in those days, and the bug bit us, and we have stuck around all these years since then. And because of the people and the friendships that we have made on these trips, it's just fabulous. That's the thing that's really great about it, is that there's something for everybody. There's quite a diverse number of different tours, and it's all included and it's always exactly what you want. What makes Regent so special? It's a tough question. There's so many things about Regent that are special. It's been a wonderful experience, made a lot of good friends, terrific memories. This has by far exceeded all of our expectations. Um, incredible, incredible time, a vacation of our lives. What makes Regent so special is actually the spirit of family is actually the caring, the love, and of course, the spirit that we show to our guests. But to me, the Regent family is what makes it so special. It's that connection between our guests, our crew, and our travel partners. Regent is a fantastic family for our guests. It definitely feels like a family. The guests and the crew, the interaction that was among each other was something that I never experienced before. Am I dreaming or what is the trick? It must be somewhere. I think from our very first Regent cruise nine years ago, we just, from then on, it's been Regent, 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 because nobody can compare to the service and the quality, the food, the, the whole package is perfect. They really, they, they, they care for you, they care about you, they're friends, they're not just, you know, they're not just working for the company, they're, you know, they're, they're very special, and we all care about them. From the beginning, it has been in our DNA to provide guests an exceptional onboard experience, including personalized and friendly service and immersing our guests in destinations throughout the world. You know, the service on, on board, everything that, that the Regent does for you just makes you want to come back again and again. Just happy to be home kind of feeling. And I get choked up just thinking about it. They are family. For sure, yes. It has been an incredible journey over these past 30 years, and I'm so excited for us to experience the next 30 together. A huge congratulations, Regent, on your 30th anniversary, and here's to another 30 more. Long may she sail. Happy 30th anniversary, Regent. It's, uh, it's really a good experience. The 30 year is a good mark, and they've done a really good job, and the evolution uh, of Regent has been spectacular. Happy anniversary, Regent. Happy birthday, Regent, to another wonderful 30 years together. Happy 30th anniversary, Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Regent is magnifique. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Regent. With that, I thank you very, very much for joining and listening to our presentation and know that Travel Leaders Marco Square Travel is an absolutely wonderful partner with Regent and they can help you with anything that you need with your vacation and your questions. And so please reach out to them if you need anything at all. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jody. That was just wonderful. Um, just such great information. I think everybody now wants to go on a Regent cruise. Absolutely. <laughs> Myself included. I'm ready to go again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you. Bye.